a great sign appeared in the sky and a woman clothed with the sun, with a moon under her feet and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. Today, we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe or the Lady of Tepeyac. She appears to Juan Diego, a simple peasant, and tells him, I am the ever Virgin Mary, mother of the true God. She stands in front of the sun and upon the moon with the stars of heaven arrayed on her cloak to the Aztecs who worshiped many gods. Mary's appearance symbolizes her superiority to these gods. These gods were bloodthirsty. They promoted war and demanded human sacrifice. Mary announced herself as the mother of God who beckons us to acts of love, not violence. She was in effect calling out these false gods in the name of the one true God. On this day, December 12th, we commemorate the appearance of the mother of God in Mexico to a simple Indian from Tepeyac. She instructed him to have the bishop build a church at Tepeyac, a hill northwest of Mexico City. As a sign for the bishop, she left an image of herself imprinted miraculously on his tilma, made of poor quality cactus cloth. The tilma should have deteriorated at maximum within 20 years, but it shows no signs of decay after over 470 years. In the eyes of Our Lady of Guadalupe on the tilma, we see what is reflected in front of her. In 1531, the images of those who were present at the time, Juan Diego, Bishop Juan de Zumarraga, and Juan Gonzalez, the interpreter. The distortion and place of the images in her eyes are identical to what would be produced in real life in our own eyes, which is impossible to obtain on a poor quality cactus cloth. And the stars on Our Lady's mantle coincide with the constellations in the sky on that very day, December 12th, 1531. All who have scientifically examined the image of Our Lady over the centuries confess that its properties are absolutely unique and inexplicable in human terms. The challenge for us today is to join Our Lady in the work for peace and bear witness to God's merciful love. We do not sufficiently engage this great feast if we simply wonder at a marvelous event from long ago. We must announce to our culture today the truth of the God of Jesus Christ, the God of merciful love, and manifest his appearance and healing power in all we do. From curbside to bedside and every touch point in between, may our patients, colleagues, and guests continue to experience our consistent Catholic heritage, our pink legacy, the bedrock on which our healthcare ministry is built. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Pray for us.